Welcome to Dorman Products Trailer Brake Controller Repair Installation Video. Before you begin, this installation is considered simple by our technicians. No automotive knowledge is needed. This installation will take approximately 10 minutes to complete. Tech note, depending on the year of your vehicle, this installation may focus on different locations. Because of this difference, the video has been segmented into two parts. The following vehicle applications will apply to Part 1. Applications for Part 2 are as follows. Begin by locating and removing the interior fuse access panel located on the left side of the dash, visible when driver's door is ajar. Next, gently remove the trim panel that houses the trailer brake control switch and unplug all connectors attached to the panel. With trim panel removed, use a small screwdriver to release plastic tabs that secure the back cover of the trailer brake switch. This will expose the circuit board you will be replacing. Remove old circuit board. When replacing the circuit board, please make sure pins are properly placed to ensure proper fit and function. Once new circuit board is secure inside the switch, snap the rear cover of the switch back into place. Finally, reconnect all connectors and replace interior fuse panel and trim for the trailer brake control switch. This will complete the installation. Begin by locating and removing the interior fuse access panel located on the left side of the dash, visible when driver's door is ajar. Next, remove any bolts and screws holding the trim panel in place. Carefully remove the trim panel housing the trailer brake control switch and unplug the connector holding it in place. With trim panel removed, use a small screwdriver to release plastic tabs that secure the back cover of the trailer brake switch. This will expose the circuit board you will be replacing. Remove old circuit board. When replacing the circuit board, please make sure pins are properly placed to ensure proper fit and function. Once new circuit board is secure inside the switch, snap the rear cover of the switch back into place. Finally, reconnect all connectors and replace both the trim and fuse panels. This will complete the installation.